everyone. Welcome back to Florida Fishing Adventures. We are down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida today with our family visiting the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And uh, we have a sea hunter just like this on pre-order. We're hoping to get it in about a year. And we're gonna take you guys along. I'm still interested in the CV. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna take you guys along and hope you enjoy. Yep. So this is the Sea Hunter 28 Floridian and we put a deposit down a year ago so we are on the wait list. Uh, that'll be an upgrade from our 22 Everglades which is much too small. <laughs> so we'll take you on a tour of this boat real quick and then uh, we'll go take a look at a few other ones. But I've been looking at this boat for a couple of years so it's going to be a, it's gonna be pretty difficult for uh, Alicia to talk me out of it. As you can see, the girls love it. The, the, the girls have plenty of room to run around and so that's all that matters to me, right? You guys enjoying the boat? Alright, it'll be ours soon. All right, guys, we'll do a quick tour. All right, one of the things I really love about this boat is all of the tackle storage you have, all of just the storage in general. You got big old gigantic fish boxes here in the rear. These are rod storage and fish boxes. Everything is insulated, so you can turn pretty much anything into a cooler. You've got an awesome electronics area, big old huge seating. We've got storage in here with your battery switches and my favorite part about this boat is the upper station so that's what I'm really looking forward to for when we uh, go do some dolphin fishing and you're up, the, up there in the upper station with Mr. Skeleton up there uh, and we can look for dolphin and then of course the boat just being nice and big we got a, a head area that we'll be able to put a head in for the girls nice big front area for fishing trolling motor we already have the Altera so we'll put that on there we got anchor storage just absolutely love the layout of this boat everything everything works for me on this one so we got a big front live well here and then more storage right here this is actually your 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 third fish box in the front so third fish box all carbon fiber so everything feels just solid on this boat. Feels amazing. The only thing we need to know is what color we're gonna make it. So we've got dual engines back here. We are actually gonna, these are the Suzuki 300s. We're going with the new uh, Mercury Verado V8s. Um, so that's what we'll be putting on the back is the Verado, v, or, I'm sorry, not the Verado, the, uh, the new Mercury V8. Um, I thought about putting the Verados on, um, but I, the, the Mercury V8, I talked to the Mercury guys, they're really, really happy with that motor set. It's performing just as well as the Verado. So, and then of course we got the, the power pole blade on the back. And like I said, just got to pick out our color. So yeah, it's definitely not going to be white. It won't be white. <laughs> well, uh, I like the I like the whisper gray for sure. Uh, I think I like. I think really like the blue. Yeah, I think the blue is a little bit more my style. Yep, blue is definitely my style. So what other colors are there? That I don't know. That's the problem. We have to go to the factory. <laughs> Chris said, meet him at the factory and we'll find out. Yep. All right, guys, we'll keep touring around. And as we uh, look at boats, we will uh, let you know. <laughs> 